Hey artists, I am excited about today's project. For today, you are going to need a piece of drawing paper. This should be your nice thick drawing paper that you got from me in your art kit because we're going to be using some paint today or some oil pastels. So I don't want you just using thin computer paper. Try to find your art paper. We're also going to use paint if you have it. If you don't have paint, then you're going to do this whole project with your oil pastels that were in your art kit. We're going to be looking at one of my favorite artists, Vincent Van Gogh and his famous painting, Starry Night. I love his painting because he's so expressive with his artwork and with his brush strokes. You can see when he does this, he doesn't just paint the sky all with one color. He really thinks about all the different colors that you can see in a night sky. And you almost get the illusion of wind going through the sky around the stars. So today we're gonna look at this artwork and we're gonna make some observations about it. For example, what do you notice about his style of painting? Well, I just mentioned to you that you can see all the different colors and marks in his brush strokes. And I want you to think in your head, what else do you notice about his style of painting? So for today's project, we are going to create our own version of Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night. Step one, we are going to trace our hand with a pencil to create the shape of this big tree. That is a cypress tree. You don't see them much around here, but they're very common in France where Van Gogh painted this. Um, with pencil, we're also going to draw a light line to show where the ground is. Then we're going to use our oil pastels that were included in your art kit to draw the stars, the lines in the sky, and all of the details. This is where you're really going to get the texture that looks like Vincent van Gogh. Lastly, we're going to use paint to paint the sky and the background. Now, once again, if you do not have paint, you can continue using oil pastels for this step of the project. You would just need to use more oil pastels to fill in all those empty spaces, but you can still get the same effect. So let's see how this project goes. Okay, so step one, you are putting your hand on your paper and tracing the shape of your hand to get kind of a pointy cypress tree shape. Step two, you're going to make a line on the ground to show where the ground meets the sky. This is all with pencil so far, and you should be using your nice drawing paper that is a little bit thicker than computer paper. Step three, start using oil pastels to draw the wind in the sky. You can do this by drawing some swirls. The next step is to use oil pastels to plan out where your stars are going to be and where your moon is going to be. Next, you're going to continue using oil pastels to make little lines around the stars. This is what starts making it look like Vincent van Gogh's style. He didn't just do blop one dot and make it a star. He made those stars really glowing in the sky. Let's continue doing that, adding on some other colors like Vincent van Gogh would. It's hard to see, but I even added some white on here. And those stars are continuing to glow into the night sky. We can start adding more and more lines into the wind to make the wind a little stronger. And then we can start filling in the sky with lots of little lines. Now, Vincent van Gogh did not just color things in he added separate little brush strokes for every mark that he made. And that's what you should be doing with the oil pastels also. It also helps to press down nice and hard so that your marks are dark. And you can go in even more and add different shades of blue. Now I'm using a black oil pastel to outline my cypress tree and show the line where the ground meets the sky. I can add lines similar to how Vincent van Gogh would do it to add his cypress tree. And then I can start adding in details for the town. I added some hills kind of in the background near the sky. And then I added lots of houses. You can add a steeple for um, a, ch a church, kind of like what van Gogh did, if you want. And now I'm adding all of the details in the little town. Instead of just drawing plain little houses, I tried to add lots of lines onto the houses and the houses roofs also to keep with that style 
of Vincent van Gogh. I also added a little church steeple because I noticed that van Gogh had one in his starry night, but you can make your town look however you want. I also made my town kind of colorful because Vincent van Gogh sometimes uses unexpected colors in his picture. Now we're going to move on to paint and you would use watercolor paint to paint right over your oil pastels because oil pastels will resist the watercolor and your oil pastel colors will show right through. Now, again, if you don't have paint, that's okay. Just keep going with your oil pastels so your picture is filled in completely with color. So I hope you enjoyed this project. I love creating artwork inspired by artists from our past. Van Gogh is a really famous artist. And a fun fact about him is that while he was alive, he actually only ever sold one painting, yet he loved creating art, so he persevered and he followed his dream. So I hope all of you are persevering through this challenging time and including challenging art projects like this because the end result is worth it and I can't wait to see what you create. I hope you had so much fun making this project. I love seeing how this turns out all the way from kindergarten up to fourth grade. This is such a fun project. In fact, adults love to do it too. So feel free to inspire those around you. Maybe your family members will even want to create their own Starry Night.